today, Crafty Chums, and I'm back on the boat. Yay! And I've got a school a box, school R box, art supplies um, subscription box thingy unveiling. So, yeah, subscription art supplies box. Oh, just trying to hop my address for you, cover it up. Um, the last time, my last box that I opened, I was just saying that I was uh, a little bit upset because it wasn't properly sealed and this time the box is properly sealed <laughs> I wasn't sure whether I'd lost any supplies or anything um, when I when I actually opened the box because um, yeah because uh, it was open the little flat thing here had come open so, but as it turned out, the inside was still wrapped in the tissue paper, so I'm guessing then that I had everything there. So yes. So we open the box and oh my goodness, it's the TARDIS. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. <laughs> I love Doctor Who. How fantastic is that? Woohoo! <laughs> Wow, I'm just surprised. Uh, I'm just pleased with that. <laughs> so yes, so I've got two packs of paper. <sighs> wow, well, I think I'm going to be excited by this one. Let's see, shall we? <laughs> and oh. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh, look, it's February. We've got some love hearts there. I used to love these as a kid. <laughs> used to have them all the time. Oh, my goodness. I was just seeing if I could eat them because of my, um, because of my celiac disease, but um, looks like it's okay. Might even eat those, who knows. <laughs> anyway, back to the box. Oh my goodness. So um, the th so this month's theme for the Scrawler box is time and space. The theme's been inspired by our latest feature artist, Kra Katrin Nudelithner. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, but uh, a.k.a. Jarly... 86 or Harley or Yarly? Yarly? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm not making fun, it's just a different name. So, the use of colour and texture in her artwork gives a real sense of movement, like you could be travelling through time and space. Let's see what her work inspires you to create in this dimension or the next. Do what I do, hold tight, and pretend it's a plan. So, this must be her work here, and I love it. Love, 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 love it already. <laughs> okay, so the first things that we have are Molotow, Molotow, Molotow Aqua Twins. So this, that's this here. And it says, the refillable Aqua Twin is ideal for any artist as it perfectly suits all design, watercolour and graffiti applications. At the same time, the exchangeable soft brush tip ensures a genuine f brush feeling. Use it as a normal marker or experiment with how it interacts with water and push some pigment around the page. That's... oh wow, I'm really excited with this one. Yep, I'm going to be so excited to do this. So that's those three there. And then um, Molotow Mask in Liquid Pen, which is this one here. Now, I, I, I do have Mask in Liquid um, in a bottle. And uh, so I'll be interested to see how the pen, I get on with the pen. Looks like it'd be much easier to use than using out of the bottle where you use a brush and it all gets you just... Yeah, your brushes get all... Um, uh, ruined from the marker and that so yeah it'll be really good to see how this how this works compared to the marker pens marker pens compared to <laughs> compared to the um, bottled uh, um, masking fluid 
So this special marker contains masking fluid that can be used in your work like any other pen. Apply the masking liquid to the area not to be painted, then colour, let dry briefly and rub down with a finger or a rubber to remove the masking fluid and reveal. So, you know, it just works like any other masking fluid that, that you use. So that's good. Uh, Cochinol. <laughs> what? Cochinol. So that's um, these two here. These are aquarel pencils. Aquarel pencils. So they must be watercolour pencils, I'm guessing. So these are uh, Mondelius are rich, top quality watercolour pencils with a high concentration of pigment and therefore an excellent durability and light fastness. They are extremely soluble and an aquarelle technique can be achieved with just a few drops of water. Use them as normal colouring pencils tra or transform the marks into something special with a single drop of water. So I guess I'm going to be water colouring with all of this. Yes. And the next is a um, Cotinor. And I've no idea whether I'm crucifying that name or not. So excuse me. This is a Cotinor flat brush size 8. Use this flat head brush to add a splash of water to your work. Wash out and mix the pigments of these water soluble supplies to create something special. Now I'm not sure what this is going to be like because I'm just doing this and I'm getting I just got a little um bristle that came off on me. So yeah, and that it's a bit stiff. I'm not used to working stiff with watercolour. So we'll look. Can you see the fibres coming out? So yeah, not sure on the brush, but excited with the um water markers and the water pencils love that and and excited to see how this is going to work I may even do a little bit of a challenge with it this time <laughs> so what I'm going to do is uh, also got this uh, masking fluid in there so I'm going to see if I can get this working and have a go at some watercolour it says shake well pump softly and right <laughs> shake well pump softly oh there we go pump softly I've got it what I'm going to do is I've, I've already um, drawn out this woman here so I'm just going to go around the outside of her face like this these watercolour pens really don't smell very nice <laughs> the watercolour pen this um masking fluid doesn't smell very nice but i think that's the same as the other one i've got in the bottle so you know it's not just this it's actually masking fluid that smells <laughs> doesn't smell very nice good note job it's not smelly vision and I'm not quite sure how to use these pens, of course, because it's my first time I've seen them. They call them markers, not pens. But I've got blue, dark blue, a light blue, and a purple. And I've got an orange and a light blue in the pencil. So I'm going to give it a go. I am, I am, I am. So let's see. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, folks. Ooh. That was me unscrewing it instead of just pulling it off. I thought you unscrewed it, but uh, let's have a look. So I'm wondering if you... Um, you put it out and then you have to activate it I wonder if you're activating it with water who knows should we see <laughs> I don't know how this way is gonna work Shh. 
She's going to be a funny coloured gal because it's all blues and purple. This will be interesting, won't it? Just like a marker marker. I thought I was going to use it as a like a watercolour pencil or something I think. <sighs> um, here I go. <laughs> Maybe I should have just tested them out first, eh? <laughs> Didn't, that didn't work very well as a um, watercolour watercolour, did it? The uh, the watercolour pencils are good. The uh, markers didn't work out how I thought they were going to work out there. But that doesn't matter. We'll just let my imagination run right now, won't we? I quite like the um, that I've got some ink and that from the other page showing through there. It's quite nice. Or it might actually be a piece that I used as to uh, what do you call it to rub off. <laughs> a sort of reptilian look doesn't it the uh the marks underneath coming through there it's quite nice actually quite nice i quite like it
Oh wow, these um these pencils actually are really good. This isn't watercolour paper of course, but uh some of these marks are coming straight out. That's excellent, like that. <laughs> Don't know whether you can see what I'm doing with these uh, watercolour things, but um pens pens, markers. Um, but I keep trying to unscrew them rather than just taking the lid off. My hands are a bit shaky and I don't know why. Shaky hands. shame that this doesn't work like I thought it was going to. I thought I would be able to, um, to you know, watercolour this out, drip it, do all sorts of things with it, but it really it's just a, it looks like a light coloured marker. So, yeah, yeah, not so excited about it now, am I? Still good though. Still nice. It's good to um, try uh, different things. And uh, my battery is um, dying on me there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop and uh, then just see how good the masking fluid comes off. And uh, it actually comes off rather well. There you go. It's not, not exactly done, but um, yeah, you can see that the masking fluid has come off well and left a nice little white highlight around, which is good. So I like that. And the markers are good, but they didn't do what I imagined they were going to do. So a little bit of disappointment because they just haven't worked like I thought it was. But that's not their fault. That's my fault. My expectations were a bit high. <laughs> so there you go. Anyway, I hope you like that quick little facey thing with the um, with the art supplies I got, and see you again soon. Bye.